Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. We're here to watch the Nostalgia Critic. This is the last one for the X-Men movies. Actually, fuck. Wait! He did an apocalypse. Hey, hold on. We need to do something. Boom. How would you think of that? <laughs> I'm Jace. I'm Josh. <sighs> That's a cool. That's an awesome one. Yeah. yeah. So now, now nobody will refer to us as the guy on the right and the guy on the left. Yeah, they're gonna refer for you to uh, they're gonna refer to us as blue shirt and green shirt. Damn I swear it. to God. The colors. All right. Yeah, I don't know why, but so many of our videos, you're always referring to us to a guy on the left and guy on the right. No, I think it's because there's so many, such a few, so few people refer to us by our actual names. I think it's because our names are too similar. Like there, I watched this. They're song. not that similar. I know, but like they both start with J, and that's a, that kind of goes up. Like I had a hard time. I watched Blind Wave, and the two main, like the, I was, I say the two main. I don't know if they're, that they're really the main, but the two guys on there are they're named Eric and Aaron. They don't look anything alike. Okay, that would be confusing. I know, I couldn't tell, I could not remember for the life of me which one was which for the longest time. Eventually I figured it out. All right. mm -hmm. So we're watching Nostalgia Critic for, for X-Men Origins Wolverine. This movie sucks. Oh boy. It's bad. And it had a good trailer. That's the worst part. You haven't seen this movie, right? I saw the beginning of it. Fuck you. It's bad. I saw it's him being a little kid and he's like, he's like, he thinks his dad gets killed and he kills the guy he's not <laughs> with that turned out that's actual, that was his actual dad. What the fuck is that? That's comic book. Whatever. So, you know, okay. Uh, and then he runs away. And then they fight in every single war together. Okay, here's the thing that sucks. You ever scratch your, girl with, your girlfriend with a hangnail and pretend you're Wolverine? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, knock it off. You're like, you made me like this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, yeah, we, there's one more X-Men movie after this. He did Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. but it wasn't part of X-Month. He didn't do Days of Future Past? Or no. First Class? No, because those are those are good. <laughs> he's oh. a nostalgia critic. We do, he's not supposed to only remove movies that are bad. Well, no, he does them if they had have a nostalgic connection, and those ones are newer and not bad. They're not as new as Apocalypse, but though. that's bad. Like he'll do a newer movie if it has a nostalgic connection. Like he did the the sequel trilogy as it was coming out. So what do we got? Oh my god, I'm not even gonna tell you why this movie is bad, because I'm pretty sure you've heard. We don't need to. You, nostalgia, nostalgia, you know, critic, nostalgia Critic will do it for me. Let's go. You, you know at home why this movie sucks. Did you know that Will I Am is in this movie? No, I did not. All right, let's watch him throw a fit. Yeah. <laughs> Satan, Satan, everybody. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic Guy. Remember it so you don't have to. And welcome to the final installment of X Month. Well, with X Men The Last Stand leaving the bad taste of animanium dick in most Oof. people's mouths, it only made sense to cut out the middle X Man, so to speak, and focus on the one that people loved most. Even before the movies, Wolverine had always proven to be X Men's most popular character, mm -hmm. even spawning his own successful comic series. So it was decided a new movie series called X Men Origins was to begin. Each film going into the backstory of a different mutant. The only, there was actually the talk for the a one. while of Ian McKellen doing an X-Men Origins Magneto yeah. movie. But everyone wanted to see how their most popular character, Wolverine, fared with oh, his own film. Boy. Well, let me tell you, if this is what they do with their most popular characters, I'd hate to see what they do with the shit-stained body parts of their unpopular ones. I'm not looking forward to this video. X-Men fans have their differences, but one thing they can all agree on is X-Men Origins Wolverine sucks. What should have been the easiest movie to make the most awesome, badass, and fun became the most inconsistent, dull, and downright baffling in terms of story and character choices. Most X-Men fans and non-X-Men fans agree it's the worst of the movies. And we're here to analyze how this middle claw of a flick happened. Let's wrap up X-Month the right way. Well, a way. This is X-Men Origins Wolverine. It opens up in 1845. Well, my knowledge of Wolverine only goes back to 1974, so I guess I just have to judge it less as an adaptation and more as a shitty movie. We see a young Logan as we discover his original name is Jimmy. So wait, Jimmy? We're brothers, Jimmy. You realize that? God, I so wish Jimmy. they retitled this now. <laughs> as his house is broken into when a stranger apparently killed his father. 
The kid, for the most part, plays a young Wolverine pretty well, but you have to watch out when the person in charge directs you poorly in a shot. Ah! One. Yep. This kid should have a therapy session with the one from Christmas Story Live. Oh, the scary, oh! hilarious consequences of bad direction. He extends out his bone claw. Tell me that's the name of a D&D character or a wrestler. Okay, good. And he stabs oh. the man to death. But the man reveals that he was his father all along. So... It well, does, that guy does look like Ray Donovan. Um, to what is his name? Why this is so dramatic. Or we're just leaving before we establish why we're supposed to care. Get used to that. Leaf Shriver. Leaf Shriver. It looks like his brother Victor, who will later become Sabretooth. Okay, that I do need clarification on. They're not brothers. Okay, good. What were you thinking? Run away into a title sequence where they show every war they ever signed God, up for. Hugh Obviously, Jackman, Leaf Shriver. How did you fuck this up, movie? Clips now. And through all of it, Wolverine grew up fast into Hugh Jackman and just kind of stayed that age for the next hundred years until these two movies and then suddenly white hair. Yep. And Sabretooth grew up into Leaf Shriver, who finally perfected his dolphin jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are probably the best part of the movie. Uh, like saying yeah. that out loud makes me realize how much trouble we're in. <laughs> They're captured, though, and approached by William Stryker, played this time by Danny Houston. Your sentence was carried out by a firing squad of ten hundred hours. You tickled. Who offers them the chance of a lifetime? I'm putting together a special team with special privileges. I'm calling it the Ass Avengers. They of course agree, and if you were to tell me the guy on this plane most likely to get a game-changing Marvel movie would be the one from The Proposal, I'd ask how you did things so wrong yet so right at the same time. That's funny, Wade. It's probably not as intimidating as having a gun or fingernails of a bag lady. To the film's credit, it is mostly cast well. Schreiber's a decent saber tooth. We know Ryan Reynolds will be a good Deadpool. And mm. maybe Wolverine listens to Black Eyed Peas. You may know he doesn't like in sync. Try to keep a low profile, walking like the poster for every Expendables movie. Oh my god. <laughs> cool, his mutant power is to bug bunny people to death. <laughs> the enemy stops them in the Oh, elevator, the guy from though. Lost is in this movie. They took the elevator. As Deadpool reveals his mutant power is using Guntana. An email said your prince was in trouble. We're here to transfer funds. I want this. But Hold on. Nothing. I'm sorry. I have Why to, are you I, pausing? I'm pausing. So you know how in Deadpool 2, I have to explain this to you, because it's fucking... I don't know why you have to. Because it's in fucking... In the middle of a fucking video. I'm stopping the video. Fuck you. People said we can pause, okay? People commented that, okay? So you know how in Deadpool 2, there's the part where Cable is shooting him, and he's like, he cuts the bullet in half, and he's like, wing, ding, 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 but he's still getting shot through the chest, and he's like, ow. That's a reference to this scene where he's like... <laughs> Blocking every bullet. There's this really dumbass shot where he cuts slow motion, cuts a bullet in half, and then the bullet like splits off and then kills the two guys behind him. In this movie, or in, in this movie? movie, in this movie, it's stupid. But I, that's why I love the Deadpool movies. They take every, they take all the dumb shit from this and they they stomp on it. The Step on Me Queen vibes. The Deadpool movies are the Step on Me Queen to this movie, and I love it. All right, resume the video. <laughs> Looks like they're after a rock that the crime lord said was from a small village and he thought was just a useless souvenir. So, in hindsight, they could have just asked him for the damn thing instead of claiming so many goddamn lives. He says that it's sacred. Did he break his neck or adjust it? No, oh, thank you. Is that him? Did he, did he, that's him killing him? I'm done. Yes! <laughs> that's so fast. I'm done. Showing us how Sabretooth got his bloodlust. I mean, it is called Origins, but you we are never got to see war. how these two became who they are. What happened when they ran away from home? They just went into war? How did that impact them as characters? How did it change them? What were they like before? What were they like after? The idea behind an origin story, especially a prequel, is to see how their actions and environment shape who they are. But who they are in the first 10 minutes is pretty much exactly who they are by the last 10 minutes. Oh, the biggest yeah. change is from a little boy to a grown man, and that only lasts a minute. Stuff happens to them all Plus, the movie, but we the never see doesn't work how it alters them. Because he loses his memories this at the end of this movie. This is the exact same as this Wolverine. He just doesn't have metal claws. Yeah. <laughs> He's called Jimmy. Jimmy! We can't just let you walk away. Take this, for example. Jimmy leaves the team, and we cut to him years later in the mountains with a woman. Who the hell is she? I mean, her name is Kayla, but who the hell is she? We don't see how they met, how they know each other, what she's like. 
We just know they're suddenly together and they smile so lovingly at each other that she's clearly dead. Was it the wars? It was bad movies. All of them. Be it civil world war nom. I can't see Hugh Jackman ever slumming a performance, but even he doesn't seem as into it as usual. Look at his face here as he's being given the origin story of his name. He doesn't look like he's letting it sink in enough that it'll one day become his identity. He looks more like he's going through his grocery list in his head. So he told Kekawatsu that the moon had asked for flowers, and every night Milk, he looks up in the sauce. <laughs> 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 What are you doing? Counting the list, I'm the thinking. Time. So you're gonna take me to this island? You are. You have those powers over me? I ain't living here you tell me where Victor is. I'm just gonna ask nicely. I'm letting us go by. Come on, Bob. He sounds like an angry and constipated Rocco. Where I can kill oh, Creed, God. Stryker, and pretty much everyone you hate in this world. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. But Jimmy's brother finds like you'd remember her name if I said it and pours fake blood all over her. I originally meant this as a joke, but as we find out later, that is what actually happens. Ah! Not from a distance, ah! not real. How can this dumbass with heightened senses not pick that up? Even this supposed big emotional moment seems half-assed, as the music and his screaming seems randomly cut short. Wait, is she actually dead? No! They faked it! Then what the fuck? They, they poured fake blood on her! This whole film feels like it was written by a Google program. Oh, real blood, but fucking... Protagonist befriends love interest for five minutes of screen time. Old friend betrays protagonist at exactly 30 minute mark. Protagonist screens for 5.1 seconds. This should equal you crying. Why aren't you crying? You're not from around here, are you? Actually, my name's Sabretooth. I chose it based on a story where a spirit came down to Earth. And you know what? I chose it because it's cool. Why can't that be a thing? Yeah. Look what the cat dragged in. Guys, whatever this is, take it outside. Now, Skeeter, they ain't hurting nobody. He looks like he'd be a great live action swamp bender. Bad that one bartender. <laughs> that you can barely make out because it's shot kind of edited, like I think, by an actual Wolverine. No, yeah, they say a firing squad tickles, but a log, that's what takes the mighty Wolverine out of action. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? He wakes up in a hospital where Stryker approaches him just in time to do his Pacino. Six years I've been here. No one knew me, and then you show up. Next day she's dead. Where my children come to play with their toys. <sighs> Stryker offers Jimmy a procedure to make him indestructible, despite him already being indestructible. But yeah. Making him an animantium skeleton. I'm so glad we haven't seen this imagery yet. Hugh Jackman's acted this being experiment to shtick so much, he's literally playing it in his sleep. Or dead, I believe that too. Movie's brain dead. Just can't die. It's like, we just can't resuscitate this movie. <laughs> he wakes movie up sucks. That they want to I don't even need to watch he it. Goes after them. But first, a tasteful glimpse of me bottom for the ladies. If they just emphasize an X, that makes a good X-Men movie? Go get a Peter Pan right here off of this dam, right here! Now, of course, it wouldn't be a comic book origin story without the friggin' nicest silver-haired angels that- Uncle Ben and Aunt May! <laughs> looks like them! Well, their kindness might be characterized as borderline <laughs> insanity if you would give shelter to a naked man breathing heavily in your barn. It's cold. Yeah, it's usually bigger than that. <laughs> Just had a rough night. Yeah, you can say that. Well, I see no threat emulating from this. Feel free to stay in our home and play with my grandchildren. There's so no Jimmy grandkids there. Using them earlier, oh, these effects. Hand claws as he looks incredibly surprised when they pop out of his knuckles. Oh my god! After he picked them the up, the CGI on that, that is awful. They don't look natural at all. From the Tiger and Ice Age and glued them on. It looked like a fucking children's toy. Half the budget of this one, and they made them look okay. This quick, I keep expecting cartoon faces to pop on them. Like, hi, Jimmy, where are your claws? And he destroys the sink. I swear I'm gonna pay for it. Well, logically, I should throw your crazy ass out, but we're Canadian. We have a stereotype. Mostly. The old man gives Jimmy his son's jacket, who, thank God, also happened to be a muscle-bound beefcake, as the missus brings in some refreshments for them. I brought you some. Oh dear, I'll have to make more. Oh, the effects! In the barn. 
Well, glad to know we elevated from Blue Sky animation to DreamWorks animation in the same film. Blow him to bits. Let's see if he can survive that. <laughs> uh, sir, he survived exactly that. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually enjoying that few minutes with the old couple. That's probably why they got rid of it so fast. We get a chase scene that on paper sounds pretty cool, with a chopper, motorcycle, and jeep flying around and blowing shit up. But once again, it's shot and edited like a monkey, shaking you by the shoulders, going, ah! It's legitimately sad Ooh. when the trailer holds longer on a shot than the actual movie does. It's funny how good innocent people tend to die around you. By the way, if you're wondering if lighting the gas leading to a giant explosion and walking away without looking in 2009 was cliched, no. Oh. It was embarrassingly cliched. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. They blow things up and then walk away. I thought it was turn around and walk away. So after summing up how people are liking this movie. Colonel, this is turning into a disaster. Wolverine yep. rides to Vegas where I'm not going to lie, at this point I'd rather just see him gamble than carry out whatever mission he was on. <laughs> Claw stud, I totally watched that. But maybe Duke's nose. Fred Duke? Develop a bit of eating disorder. We all got our coping mechanisms. Oh, yeah. So, you remember in X-Men a character called the Blob? One of the more famous foes whose mutant power was yeah. an indestructibly obese body. Well, no, he's just a dude who put on a lot of weight. Still a mutant, but his powers have absolutely nothing to do with his size. He just let himself go. It's like saying Superman is still an alien, but he doesn't have superhuman strength. He just mimicked pumping iron a lot. Come on, man, look at mm. him. Blob. Blob had bitch tits. God. Oh, oh, get in my belly! <laughs> You know, with how PC things are becoming, you think an actor who isn't overweight playing an overweight character would be called Fatface? Jimmy beats him up to get information on where Sabretooth and Stryker are, and it looks like the two of them are out hunting another mutant. A young Peter Badanovich! Please don't! Just remember when we meet up years later and I grow my hair blonde and I never talk. We are never to reference this. Lop says Jimmy can find another what? mutant who escapes. Was that Cyclops? Oh yeah, that was Cyclops. I got the joke. This is way too early in the. the only cool I know, right? So way I have no choice but to like it. Two years I rodin' in that hell and I never. <laughs> That's kind of funny too. Tell me something, Jimmy. But still not as funny as when he calls him that. You even know who killed me? I'm gonna cut your goddamn head off. He was literally just knocked out. How would he get up there so fast? Why is he up there? And I don't know aeronautics, but I'm pretty sure you can't helicopter down via cane the same way Dixie Kong does with her hair. You're Gambit! You and Dixie Kong should not be mentioned in the same sentence! Sabretooth escapes as Jimmy and Gambit stay for... Wow. Honestly, no reason to fight. Uh, what kind of effect is that? A cartoon. All that's missing is a Tom and Jerry scream when he falls. Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking Saturday morning cartoon. Effect there. Jimmy yeah. Striker as Striker puts the finishing touches on his latest mutant experiment. <laughs> and he will respond to my command. Oh. And we're gonna make him watch. No. We're gonna. I hate that they're, thing. They're sewing his eyes open. So they want him to, they want him to watch the whole movie. <laughs> Nothing motivates the men in your family like revenge. But yeah, oh. what's her face is still alive. Wow, that's so underwhelming and not worth shitting a care that even Jimmy doesn't know how to react to it. He just kind of awkwardly <sighs> kneels and lets out a reverse quack. Wolverine. <laughs> it's revealed that she worked with Stryker because he's holding her sister hostage, and her mutant power is she can touch people and influence them to think whatever she'd like. Now, on top of asking why the hell she doesn't just use that power to have Stryker hand her sister over, I mean cry! See, from a storytelling standpoint, how cool it would have been if we saw them meet. She holds his hand, and from that point on, we have to re-watch the scene and ask, was this real love or just her mutant power? There could have been a brilliant dramatic setup here. But because that would mean making a connection with the characters instead of just doing things. Gotta do this thing, gotta do this thing, gotta do this thing. We're developed now. Jimmy tells her exactly what he told Fox after seeing this movie. I'm just a fool about play. So obviously it's time to fight those who wronged him or he walks away. Wolverine. I'm gonna go be in Logan. 
You know, this is all so <laughs> I'm out. Amazingly I'm, I'm leaving this movie. <laughs> I'm leaving this picture. What are talking about at the end of X2? Remember when he was bringing up his past? You're an animal then. You're an animal now. If you really knew about your past, what kind of person you were, the work we did together. We stole a rock, gave you some tiny tune claws, and this lady you barely know didn't die. We were animals. Animals! And I guess Sabretooth reveals why he suddenly betrayed his brother. Give me the adamantium. Test king. We had a deal! You would never survive the operation. So, over a hundred years of knowing this guy, and you totally betray him because you just wanted animantium in your bones? Something the guy says wouldn't work anyway? I think Tenderheart and Grumpy Bear have a more complex rivalry than Can I just walk away? Can we stop watching me off? Returns ...and help free all the mutant cameos and... Yeah, let's get this over with. The mutant that was being worked on earlier was Deadpool. Can't say anything. Is that you? Can't say anything about how bad it is. By God, it's like the comic leaped onto the screen. <sighs> Striker finally figured out how to shut you up. But you see like the weird dots on his face. It looks like those weird dots you see in the background of comics. <laughs> Bang! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> that's not what happens in this film, though. The, oh my god, can you imagine every copy of this movie they made afterwards? They put that part in, and that's where it ends. They roll the credits <laughs> and everything. Oh my god, Ryan Reynolds, get on Be so much better! Deadpool uses all the mutant powers surgically given to him. The dumb thing. Uh, hey, he doesn't need other mutant powers. Didn't, powers didn't, remember his death game, battle? They decide to fight him. He has a teleportation belt, doesn't he? Decapitate. All this high-tech ingenuity and you have to type in your commands like a 1980s RPG? Got some great space balls logic working here. It's a competition of which sucky effect can destroy the other. <laughs> story claws or invaders in laser beams. Only the crappiest shall survive. They end up defeating him, but as Jimmy says, this isn't over. This doesn't change anything between us, Victor. We're brothers, and brothers look out for each other. Unless your memory's erased and I go working for a magnet man, you know how it goes. Who gives a dick is dying, though, and Jimmy goes to say goodbye. Really? You don't look it. Okay. You look great. You don't even seem annoyed to be dying. You can say things all you want, movie, but unless you commit to it. <laughs> Striker shoots two animanium bullets into his head and... Yep, that's twice they try to fake you out that he might die. Ooh, and here's another nail biter. Spider-Man might not be back in Endgame. See far from home. <clears throat> I should make you pull the trigger. But that would make us no better than you. Walk into your feet, bleed. Well, that'll result in tons of people dying, but why start making sense now? <sighs> By the way, that's supposed to be Emma Frost. Oh, hi there, Mr. Clean. Mighty glad to know you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he looks hilarious! He looks like, looked like hell. Huh. Mr. Clean, Mr. Right? Clean, Mr. Oh, Clean. Oh, Jimmy oh God. Told Xavier exactly what he did remember. Yeah, I woke up around a destroy power plant on this exact date. Oh yes, I was totally there. With that starting point, I'm sure we can piece together where you came from. Oh, guess it doesn't matter. Good luck. Yeah, it was a shame that Gambit guy didn't get much screen time, but I'm sure he'll get another starring role in a big money maker. So dumb. Going to space. How did she? How did she even die? Jimmy, I mean Wolverine. I mean. I don't know. Jimmy. The exactly! The we don't even know how she the died! The rubble! The rubble fell on her. Wolverine is one of the coolest characters Pathetic. in comic book history. But you none of you watch this movie and you're just... Off of this movie alone. You find it a miracle that Logan ever got made. The films, it doesn't please any comic fans. Logan was it's way, way better. too boring oh, and cliche yeah. to entertain newcomers. It's just a disaster. X-Men has had a shaky history in both comics and film, but when it comes to the absolute worst X-Men flick there is, you need look no further than X-Men Origins, Jimmy. X-Men Snorigins. I hope everybody Wolverine. had a good time. And I'm ready! Hyper, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I was in the animated intro, so I just assumed I'd be flying around as Rogue. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, that, that, that was more of a style thing. Wait, so, I'm... I'm not gonna be an X-Men? Well, aren't we all X-Men in our hearts? No. We are now. Congratulations! <laughs>
I'll make it up to you later. Just get out of here. So I hope you enjoyed X Month and- I'm ready. Oh, for God's sake. I take offense at that. I'm not having us as the X-Men. Then why'd you have us in the intro? I just told the animator to draw something cool. Yeah, that was cool. Now let's actually do it. I can't. X-Month is over, so get out of here. Fine. Great. I'm ready. How did you even... I'm ready for my cameo as Dadly. I'm not doing that. And besides, you didn't cameo anywhere else. Well, sure I did. Here, look. You see? You always need a cameo from the creator. You didn't create the nostalgia critic. Sure I did. Look, when a man and a woman love each other very much, beat it! It's his dad. Hey, critic, we're here for X month. Oh my god, it's already over! And you didn't invite us? Well, it was your idea! Exactly. exactly! Oh my god, can you just go away before other people spontaneously appear in my corner? Ah! You false advertised critic! Yeah, none of us were in X month. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you all somehow. Oh, you mean by reviewing a movie starring a person you never wanted to talk about again? Stop right there! I know how this works. You bring up a movie or a person I don't want oh, to talk about, it? and once I talk about them, their picture pops up and I'm stuck reviewing it. Well, I'm not falling for it this time, so get out! Well, I think she was just talking about... Out! Out! Everybody out! Fireball! Out! Oh, it's like oh, Christmas man. with the Hitlers! Lousiest cameo I've ever had. Oh, no, there, now God. I'm not bound to anything. I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it so you don't have to. What was it? What was one week after this? Damn it! Oh, whoa. What was that? It was Tommy was so. <laughs> Tamara's so cute. All right. Ass! Oh boy. Movie's ass! Uh, you're not gonna make me sit down and watch it, are you? No, God, no. Why? <laughs> what did you do to me? <laughs> Don't give me a reason to make you sit down and watch this movie. Uh, what would make you make me watch it? No, no, no. So, like, yeah, so they, they sewed his mouth shut and they, like, surgically made his eyes open. That's pretty much... They clockwork oranged his ass to make him sit there and watch the whole movie. <laughs> and then and then they sewed his mouth shut, shut so he couldn't complain about it. That's a euphemism for what the, the creators of this movie wanted to do to the audience. You know, it's, it's a really good movie, Jace. A lot of themes. What's funny is that happened in making the movie, so they knew it was shit. <laughs> uh, like, uh, director, you're an asshole. But I need, really need a paycheck, so fine. <laughs> I do love that. At least they've grown from the experience. They can make fun of themselves. Like with Deadpool shooting himself in the head. Or um, the whole like bullet splitting thing. Uh, there's like a figurine of this version of Deadpool in the first Deadpool movie. So they've, cut, they've, they've come out stronger for it, you know? But they're still making shit movies. Like, have you seen New Mutants? Don't want to. Nope. Have you seen, um, uh, what is it, Phoenix, whatever? Dark Phoenix, no. It's ass. I saw the scene where Mystique was... Spoiler killed. alert! Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for Dark Phoenix. Don't go see it. We're going to spoil it. I saw the scene for where Mystique got killed, and, like, no one's acting heartbroken. It's like, the so only one who seems to be phased by her getting killed is Beast. Yeah. it's be And, like, even... Man, Jennifer Lawrence just really wanted to get out of these movies. You know, why does anyone care if it's a spoiler when it's a shit movie? I it do was not in the trailer! There's only two things of note in that movie. Actually, three. I'll make three notes. Just This will be the, the Dark Phoenix part of the video. Number one, uh, Shrek is president. What the fuck? The president in that movie is... It's played pl by Mike Myers? No, 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 no. He's played by the actor who played Shrek on Broadway. <laughs> Number two, Dazzler is in the movie. One of the most ridiculous, obscure X-Men is in this movie. And she's putting on like a performance and there's like the lights and everything. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. And then... Number three, it is now canon in the X-Men universe that aliens exist. They fight fucking aliens in this movie, Jace. But they didn't have the budget to, for the CG, so they just made the aliens look like people. They had the aliens infect human bodies. Like, there's this one actress in the movie. Stop talking, please. I don't need to hear anymore. I lost my shit when I saw that. I was like, this is, okay, so there's this actress... And she's talking to Jean about the Phoenix Force. And I thought that the woman wasn't real. It was like Jean's internalized version of the Phoenix Force talking to her, right? I thought that would have made sense. And then there's a scene of this woman, like at a dinner party. That's how you introduce this woman. And I was like, hold on a second. This bitch is real? And then the aliens 
and like show up and they take over her body. I was, and I was like, I lost my shit. I'm like, that sounds so dumb. I, it was like that scene from the the CW crossover with the superheroes, and I was like, they're like, aliens. I was like, aliens. That's so fucking dumb. It's stupid. You're so stupid. This is bottom of the barrel. Hope to God, like, and, and say what you want about apocalypse. It's not as bad as this. So, and I actually have a soft spot for Apocalypse. I know it's bad, but I kind of like it. Ooh, let's breathe, let's breathe, let's breathe. Oh, you know. oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Fuck you, Fox. Fuck. Fuck. And then they Stop got... Stop fucking then, this shit up. And then they got bought out by Marvel. So just... Now they just need to get complete rights to Spider-Man back. Then Sony's never going to sell. No shit. It's like, it's literally just that meme. It's like, without this franchise, I have nothing. If you're nothing without this franchise, then you shouldn't have it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm Jace. I'm Josh. We'll see you guys in the next video.